Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We will discuss a hemophilia. <coughs> it is the most common severe inherited bleeding disorder. The incidence is 1 per 5000 males. Types include first hemophilia A called classic hemophilia. Factor A deficiency representing 85% of the total. Second, hemophilia B, called Christmas disease, factor 9 deficiency, representing 10 to 15 percent of the total. And the third is hemophilia C, which is usually mild, factor 11 deficiency, representing 2 percent of the total. <clears throat> Reduced level of contact factor, that is factor 12, high molecular weight, kinogen, and pre Calicurine are associated with significant prolongation of APTT or PTT, that is activated partial thromboplastin or partial thromboplastin, but are not associated with hemorrhage. Pathophysiology. Factor 8 and 9 participate in a complex re required for the activation of factor 10. Together with phospholipids and calcium, they form the TNase or factor 10 activating complex. Prothrombin time, that is PT, measures the activation of factor 10 by factor 7 and is therefore normal in factor 8 or factor 9 deficiency. The inheritance of, hemoph of hemophilia A and B is X-linked recessive. That of hemophilia C is autosomal recessive. About 30% of cases are due to a new mutation. Clinical presentations. Hemophilia A and B result in a clinically indistinguishable bleeding disorder of variable severity according to the level of factor 8 or factor 9 in the plasma. The severity of hemophilia is classified into, th into three grades. First, mild, where the concentration of the factor in the plasma is more than 5 units per deciliter, that is more than 5%. This causes significant trauma uh, is required for bleeding to occur. Second, moderate, the concentration of the factor in the plasma is about 1 to 5 percent. So it requires mild trauma for bleeding to occur. And the third, a severe type or severe grade where the concentration of the factor in the plasma is less than 1 percent. So there will be spontaneous bleeding. The hemostatic level for factor 8 is more than 30 to 40 percent and that for factor 9 is more than 25 to 30 percent. The normal level is 100 percent. The lower normal limit is 50 percent. Neither factor 8 nor factor 9 crosses the placenta. So bleeding may present at birth or may occur in the fetus. <clears throat> Only 2% of neonates with hemophilia sustain intracranial hemorrhage and 30% of male infants with hemophilia bleed with circumcision. Obvious symptoms as easy bruising, intramuscular hematoma and hemarthrosis begin when the child begins to cruise. Bleeding from minor traumatic laceration of the mouth called torn frenulum may persist for hours or days and may cause the parents to seek medical evaluation. Although bleeding may occur at any area of the body, the hallmark of hemophilia is hemarthrosis, that is, bleeding into the joints. The earliest joints hemorrhage ap appear most commonly in the ankle. In the older child and adolescents, hemarthrosis of the knee 
and elbows are also common. Whereas the child's early joint hemorrhage are recognized only after major swelling and fluid accumulation in the joint space, older children are frequently able to recognize bleeding before the physician does. They complain of warm tingling sensation in the joint as a first sign of an early joint hemorrhage. Repeated bleeding episode into the same joint in a patient with severe hemophilia may lead to a target joint with recurrent spontaneous bleeding due to the underlying pathologic changes in the joint. Other types of bleeding can be easy, can be easy bruising, spontaneous, subcutaneous hematoma, mouth bleeds, and intramuscular hematoma. Occasionally, there may be a life-threatening hemorrhage as any bleeding into vital structure like intracranial hemorrhage and upper airway hemorrhage or by exanguinations, that is external trauma, GIT or ileocerous hemorrhages. Some females carriers may have mild bleeding due to what we call lionization of X chromosome. Differential diagnosis of hemophilia in, in young infants with severe bleeding manifestation, the differential diagnosis include severe thrombocytopenia, severe platelet function disorder, as Bernard Solar syndrome and Glanzmann thrombosthenia, type 3, uh, severe von Willebrand disease and vitamin K deficiency. Diagnosis of hemophilia, prolonged PTT, partial thrombocytopenia time, in severe hemophilia, the PTT value is usually two to three times above the upper limit of the normal. Decrease factor eight or factor nine level in the plasma. Normal platelet counts, bleeding time, prothrombin time, and thrombin time. Unless the patient has inhibitors to factor eight, the mixing of normal plasma with patient's plasma lead to correction of prolonged PTT. Treatment of hemophilia. Treatment of the bleeding episodes. First, replacement therapy. When bleeding occurs, the level of factor 8 or factor 9 must be raised to the what we call hemostatic level or to the level of 100% unit per deciliter in the state of life-threatening or major hemorrhage. Factor 8 concentrate containing 200, 250 or 500 units per 20 ml. In heme arthrosis, we give factor 8 50 international units per kg on day 1, then 20 international units per kg on day 2, 3, and 5 until the joint function is normal or back to baseline. Consider additional therapy every other day for 7 to 10 days and consider prophylaxis. In intramuscular and significant subcutaneous hematoma, factor 8 concentrate 50 international units per kg, 20 international per kg every other day may be needed until resolved. In mouth, deciduous tooth or tooth extraction, we give factor a 20 international per kg, antifibrinolytic therapy, and remove loose deciduous tooth. Epistaxis apply pressure for 5 to 20 minutes, back the pack with petroleum gauze, give antifibrinolytic therapy, factor A 20 international unit per kg if this treatment fails. Major surgery and life threatening hemorrhages. Factor 8 concentrate 50 to 75 international per kg, then initiate continuous infusion of 2 to 4 international uh, unit per kg per hour to maintain factor 8 more than 100 percent for 24 hours, then give 2 to 3 international unit per kg per hour continuously for 5 to 7 days to maintain the level at more than 50 percent and 
an additional five to seven days to maintain the level at more than 30 percent. In iliopsoas hemorrhage, we give factor 850 international unit per kg, then 25 international unit per kg every 12 hour, hours until asymptomatic, then 20 international unit per kg every other day for a total of 10 to 14 days with radiologic, radiologic assessment. In hematuria, we need bed rest, 1.5 maintenance fluid, if not controlled in one to two days, give factor A20 international unit per kg. If not controlled, we start with prednisolone unless patient HIV infected. Prophylaxis of hemophilia include factor A20 to 40 international unit uh, every other day to achieve trough level of more than or equal to one. Person. Other measures are cryoprecipitate, which contain 125 units of factor 8 per 25 mole per bag, blood or plasma are less effective than factor 8 concentrate. Second drug therapy is dismopressin as intranasal spray or oral form useful in mild hemophilia A not effective for hemophilia B and sometimes we use amino caproic acid. Third, local hemostatic measures application of cold sponge and a pressure on the bleeding site in cases of hemarthrosis immobilization of the affected joint for two days followed by gradual passive exercise in severe painful joint with very tense overlying skin, aspiration of the blood after adequate factor eight therapy will provide some relief. Protective measures in hemophilia include prophylactic treatment with factor eight concentrate has been recommended for many young children with severe hemophilia to prevent spontaneous bleeding and early joint deformities. Prevention of trauma avoidance of aspirin and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, hepatitis B immunization, periodic, periodic investigations for patients using plasma derivatives like viral hepatitis B and C, AIDS and liver function test. Early psychological intervention helps the family achieve a balance between overprotection and permissiveness. Today, patients with hemophilia are best managed through comprehensive hemophilia care centers with different specialities. Genetic counseling of hemophilia, if the patient and his family should realize, realize that the disease is an X-linked disease carried by asymptomatic mother to affect 50% of her sons, while 50% of her daughter will be a carrier as their mother. The treatment of hemophilia B is factor 9 concentrate and of hemophilia C is fresh frozen plasma. Complications of hemophilia. First, chronic joint destruction. Second, infections as hepatitis B, C, B and C and A's. This infection may be decreased, decreased by the use of the recombinant factor, nine, factor 8 or factor 9. Inhibitors of factor to factor 8 or factor 9 found in 25 to 35% in hemophilia A and somewhat lower in hemophilia B. Treatment by desensitization program by infusion of high dose of factor 8 or factor 9 to induce immune tolerance. If this fails, we use rituximab, not approved by FDA and the bleeding episodes are treated with either recombinant activated factor 7 or activated prothrombin complex concentrate. This may pass the inhibitors but may increase the risk of thrombosis. Shukran jazeelan lakum.